Hey, Benny Bash. It's the 4th of January, 2019. And you gotta forgive me if I kinda just rush through this, sort of, because things are just going on and I'm still being shown these things and I wanna share them with you. Uh, you know, trying to balance everything, snowing every other day, got work piling up, all kinds of things. But this is amazing to me. And the message that it's, it's showing is, to me, pretty undeniable. This is really interesting, and, and I want to explain the best I can. And, and it has really nothing to do specifically with either Michael Jordan or LeBron James. It has to do with the separation of the sheep and the goats, the wheat and the tares, the choice that people have to make on which side you're going to choose. Are you going to choose good or are you going to choose evil? You understand? You are the 46. There is a good you and there is a bad you. There is a wall in between there, a, a enmity, a hatred that was put there by God on purpose so that you could discern the good from the bad and make a conscience choice. You understand? You need to choose whom you will serve. It really is that simple. It's a spiritual war for your eternal soul. And LeBron James and Michael Jordan are debating over who's the GOAT. And James has declared himself the GOAT. Now just think about this. The greatest of all time. The sheep and the goats. And I'm seeing this put everywhere. In the last few days, I've seen this story multiple, multiple times. Okay? So I'm led to just look into what what LeBron James and Michael Jordan have to do with this and just their names, you know? I'm just going by their names. Now, now Michael Jordan, really, I'm, I'm not going to get into him, but I will tell you this. Michael is directly related to the Archangel Michael, okay, who will fight the, the devil and his angels and will be cast down because that's what Jordan means is to flow down, to cast down. It literally means Michael cast down, okay? LeBron is an interesting name because it's not popular at all. Its uh, origin is French, and it means brown-haired one. You got to just keep, a, keep this stuff in mind. It is incredibly interesting indeed. A brown-haired one, his last name, James, literally derives from Jacob literally you can i'll link this you can see all the way through the latin all the way back to the hebrew yaakov jacob is james so you have a brown haired one jacob all right now just think about this the only place in the bible that you will see any mention whatsoever is in genesis of brown hair genesis 30 and this is when jacob Okay, James, Jacob, is separating the speckled and uh, blemished sheep from the unblemished sheep. Do you understand? He's separating all the brown cattle among the sheep, all the brown among the sheep, the brown hair, Jacob. Do you understand? I mean, just think about this. Okay, so Jacob's sheep, right? Now, this just goes crazy. The other day, I made a video, and I was just showing you about this, this woman who literally murdered her twins that were 23 months old. And they were named Jake, Jacob, and Chloe. And again, you got to go back and watch these, these videos in order to, you know, kind of catch up to what I'm showing you here. But this is like the real deal stuff. I, I just... I just don't know. I see it dimly and, and I can't, I can only speculate on anything as far as like when or, you know what I mean? But the 23 year month old Jake twin, a twin is insane, right? The twin, it, it you are literally a twin inside of you. It, and the whole purpose is to find out the good in you and the bad in you and discard the bad. 
the evil twin. You know what I mean? That's what people are always trying to do. The world is always trying to determine how do we achieve peace. And the fact of the matter is, until you look at it from a spiritual perspective, you're never going to have peace in this world. Never. But you have peace in Christ while you're in this world, no matter what's going on. That's the beauty of it. You need Jesus. That's, that's the bottom line. But the fact that LeBron James is the brown-haired <laughs> Jacob Sheep, and, and just the other day, one of the subscribers emailed me, which you can email me, just ask in the comments and I'll give you my email, um, sent me an article that I couldn't believe, just out of nowhere, out of the blue, about Jacob's sheep moving back to the temple grazing ground. This is like the biblical place of Jacob's sheep, the brown haired sheep. You just can't, you, there's no way you could even create this story. Only God, right? So they brought these sheep back to Israel. This is right now, this is happening. This article is only a couple months old. And there's Genesis 30 right there. I mean, get a load of this. They, it took three months to get 119 sheep on 11 flights to the promised land. It, it's insane what this is showing. And just today or yesterday, get a load of this. 23 officers were hurt trying to move settlers off their land. They're, they're separating people from their land. It's all about separating. Everything is separation, separation. I mean, you really got to take this to heart. And Michael, the archangel, is soon going to do his thing in heaven. And there are going to be a third of the stars cast down. Satan will be cast down. And all hell's going to break loose. That's when the pit opens and everything. This is just how I see it. You know what I mean? So you got to really consider this stuff. You really do. You know, the double-mindedness that, that people have, then they don't understand. I mean, look at Matthew 25, okay? This is all over the Bible. Matthew 25, down in, uh, this is after the, the ten virgins and the servants with the talents. And uh, he put the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations." And he shall separate them, one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. You understand? I mean, this is crazy. The separation. Really? And again, this even goes back... This, this is amazing stuff, man. And it's talking about, when I talk about the two, okay, you need to understand, you're dealing with a good you and a bad you. You're the 46. This is within you. And until you make a, a conscious choice to know that there are actually two things that you can serve in life, you can serve good or you can serve evil. And what's happening is there's a, point coming where there's no gray area you need to make a choice and that choice is either jesus christ or the flesh the devil the world death it literally is that simple that's what's coming so i hope you consider these things i'm telling you i mean because it's true you can't make this stuff up look at ephesians 2 14 and 15 he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Do you understand the wall? That the Trump is talking about the wall, the wall, the wall. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, the hatred, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances. Do you understand? For to make in himself of twain one new man. So making peace. I hope you, I hope this makes sense to you. 
the wall. Trump is talking about the wall. The wall. Think about this. The enmity. Genesis 3. How God put enmity, hatred, after he had to expel Adam and Eve from the garden. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, meaning the serpent, between his seed and her seed. The enmity, the hatred, hostility. He had to put that there to preserve himself in us so that when Jesus could come, we could understand that he has provided us a pathway to him by his grace, by faith in Christ in what he did on the cross. It's just so amazing. It's so unbelievable. But the wall of petition, you know, he broke the middle wall of petition. He destroyed the hatred. Do you understand? Enabling us to know God's love. Because without the hatred in the world, there is no way for us to know to separate ourselves from the evil. I hope this makes sense. I really do. Because this is the kind of stuff that's coming. You understand? And you look at Trump and his wall and his wall. I mean, we can go through so many things. I wanted to show you Genesis 30 because this is crazy. When he's talking about the brown hair, LeBron, the brown hair sheep. Look at the, the, the word brown. It, it just seems amazing to me. It, it means sunburnt or swathy, blackish brown, but the number 2345. One away from the 2346, right? So I have to go and look and see what the 2346 is. And you guys are just gonna, I flipped out when I saw this because this is amazing to me. 2346 in the Hebrew. We're talking about Jacob and everything here. It literally means to join a wall of protection, which is literally what God gave us in Genesis 3 when he put the enmity between his seed and her seed. Gen Genesis 315, 153, if you want to look at it that way. Can you get over that? 2346. That's insane. Is a wall. <laughs> it's a wall of protection. And it doesn't end there. The wall that Trump is trying to build. Think about this. It's all about the wall. The wall. The wall. That, that's absolutely crazy. To separate this wall that God gave us was to separate the good from the evil so that he could preserve himself in us until Christ could set us free. It's amazing. But that's literally what happened here. Christ broke down the middle wall between us so that we could know God's love and become part of his kingdom in Christ. Unbelievable. I wish I had more time and that I could articulate this better. But I'm telling you that this is happening. This is, this is very, very real. And the choices are going to need to be made. Who do you serve? I mean, really. And if you are a Christian, we need to look into Revelation and understand, you know, what, what church do we belong to when he speaks to the seven churches? You know, because this is coming. It truly is, people. So, I pray that this blesses someone and that you understand and that you seek Jesus today. Okay? Peace and grace to y'all. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 